Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. How are you all? I'm back with another What I Eat in a Day. It is, uh, it's been a little over two weeks since I've been back to weight loss mode, getting 21 weeklies and 23 points a day. I've been doing fairly good, but sadly, I haven't really lost any weight. I'm kind of like fluctuating a pound, you know, all the weeks, you know, I'll be like plus 0.5, minus 0.5 the next day. So I'm just on that little yo-yo. I haven't seen any weight come off, but I'm trying not to discourage because to be honest with myself, I haven't been 100% on the plan like I was when I successfully lost weight. And I think a lot of that is mentality because I'm getting ready to go on vacation next week. So I'm like, what's the point of losing a pound before vacation? But anyhow, regardless, I'm still in weight loss mode. But for that reason, I also decided to make my breakfast this week zero points. I thought that would really help me eat the exact same thing every morning and it'll be zero points and then a point or two for my coffee. So that's what I've been doing. So I'll be excited for next week's weigh-in to see if that helped. And it may because last week and the week before that, I didn't meal prep breakfast. And so I was just like making a different breakfast or grabbing breakfast. So breakfast may have been what was stopping me from losing pounds. So I don't know. But anyway, excuse me. I did meal prep some egg bites. Let me bring you over there and show you. And I think I filmed just a little clip Sunday of prepping them. And so I'll overlay that cut as well. Let's get going. subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. So I just sauteed up a bell pepper with some spinach and white onion. I find that I prefer the flavor of the eggs, egg cups if I do saute it first. And I just add a little to each muffin pan, pour over the eggs, and bake until no longer jiggly. Okay, for my coffee, I've been trying out different ways to use this pumpkin spice cold brew. It is a concentrate, so it recommends you dilute it with six ounces of water. And I've tried a different recipe so far. I do like it, it's not my favorite. But I think today what I'm gonna do, instead of diluting it with water, I'm gonna dilute it with my Alana New Munchies Fit Shake. I think the munchies will taste good with this. Oh, let's see. So that's probably a half a bottle. That bottle was previously already opened. I'm going to taste my ratio and then add whichever one I think it needs. That is pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm at a little more of each. So I still have about one point left in here. It's about, about here. And this is zero points, it's unsweetened. So I have to say, I like the pumpkin and the munchkin together. This works really well. So I'm gonna go sit down and eat my breakfast real quick and then head to work. Actually, I need to make my lunch too, but. I'm in a training webinar, but I'm just having my leftover firecracker turkey I made the other night. Um, watch it in a previous video, and I'm eating it on lettuce just to keep the points down with the Coke Zero and a side of grapes. But that was perfect for lettuce wraps. I am leaving work, heading home. It's not dark yet, yay. But it's like 5.30. I'm getting out here a few minutes early. I've been getting out closer to 6. But I had zero snacks. I did have a glass of, or a cup of tea around 4 o'clock. Um, just regular tea, nothing in it. So no points. But I'm heading home. I'm going to have a banana for zero points. 
I always get asked about my banana holder. I actually ordered it off Amazon. It's very good quality, long time ago. It just protects it. I cannot stand like a damaged banana, so I don't know. But quite hungry, gonna go home and make some dinner. I'm having my Hello Chef meal tonight. I think I, we have two left for the week. I ordered three this week. Um, I think there's a steak one and a chicken one, but I think we're gonna do the chicken one tonight. They're both like express meals, so they're under like 20 minutes start to finish so that is good so let's get on the road so tonight for dinner we're having panko crusted chicken with sun-dried tomato butter this is from home chef and it's one of their express meals and i've never tried this one but i'm excited to try it it looks pretty good i put all the ingredients into my uh ww app already and i know it is 10 points um it looks very low point right it's just chicken and green beans but there is butter and panko and the pesto. Pesto is heavy and oil, so points come from that, along with mayonnaise and some cheese. So the little items do add up to 10 points. You wouldn't expect it, but that's okay. We'll enjoy it. And I definitely have the points today. I'm like so low on points right now, but I feel not too bad. So I don't know. But let me turn you around and get to cooking. So here are my ingredients. I have 10 ounce uh, boneless skinless chicken breast, some green beans, I'm not quite sure how big this is. And then I have some panko breadcrumbs, some uh, sun-dried tomato pesto, lemon juice, mayonnaise, butter, crushed red pepper, Parmesan cheese, and some garlic pepper. And so I'm gonna know Add the crushed red pepper flakes to my panko. Mix that around. And then add the garlic pepper onto the chicken breast. Season that up really well. And then put them, I think, into there. <laughs> yep. So I'll just season that both sides. Oh, there's not that much. I ran out. <laughs> Oh well. So season both sides. That one I didn't get to, but that's okay. And then you just press it into the panko, best you can. You're not gonna use all this panko, but in my app when I did the recipe, I did go ahead and put the whole amount of panko. So I'll look and if I can reduce it, I will. But I think it was only a point of panko for half anyways. I took it in my app and I just, all the ingredients, on the home chef it gives you a list of exact amounts of ingredients so i just added half since it's two servings but i got a heated pan you can put it directly in the pan the pan has uh pam in it like non-stick spray they recommend oil but i don't want to use the points on the oil so and if you don't like spice you could for sure leave the red peppers out to the skillet. It's not very hot, I need to turn it up. The green beans did not come trimmed, so I'm just gonna snap off the ends real quick. You could also just cut them off. I like to snap them off because sometimes it'll pull that stringy part off with it, just a little like that. So I'm gonna do all these real quick. I'm gonna put the trimmed green beans in a pan with a little bit of olive oil. I'm not gonna use olive oil. I'm just gonna spray them with vegetable oil. It'll work. I, sh I should have thrown those in the air fryer, darn it. Oh well. Also adding a fourth of water just to create some steam. I'm gonna season them up with salt and pepper. Put a lid on it. Okay, on to the little sauce. We're gonna take the lemon juice. Cut the tiniest hole. 
And then the mayonnaise. And note, this is real mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip. Which team are you? I actually like both to me. They taste totally different for different things. <sighs> what else do we need in there? Pepper. And half of the pesto. The other half is going to go with the butter, which we need another bowl. So, so I'm going to split this in half between the two little bowls. That's going to be hard to do. Just eyeball it. And then softened butter. I just set them on top of the green beans lid to get them soft. It only took like 10 seconds. So softened butter into the second bowl. Just gonna whisk these ingredients together. And this is gonna be the sauce that's gonna go on the green beans. And the other one is going to be a compound butter you're serving on top of the chicken. So that one is done. And then for the butter, I'm just gonna use a fork to mash it together. You could definitely melt the butter too, like completely melt it and stir it around to mix it and then let it harden. But we're pretty much ready to eat, so I'm not gonna go through that. So that definitely was an easy meal. Can't hate that. So let's get plated. First things first is green beans. Luckily, they give you a whole bunch of green beans. So I'm gonna drizzle the first sauce over the green beans. I guess it's the only sauce, technically. And then I'm gonna take the butter and divide it over the chicken. I will say, I wish the flavor of the butter and the, the sauce were not the same. To me, that is like maybe a lot, especially if you don't love sun-dried tomato. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be good though. And then I'm gonna add the cheese on the green beans. This is a ton of cheese. It's way too much cheese. Okay, I'm not adding all that cheese. That's way too much cheese. 10 point, I'd say it looks pretty gourmet. I'll give you a taste test and let you know how it is. I am going to end the night with one of these, oh, sorry, these outshine bars. Whatever color, oh, they're kind of frosty. They'll be fine. So these are one point, they're pretty good. I probably wouldn't repurchase them. I don't find myself grabbing them very often, but that's okay. So I am ending the night with 17 points. Really good. It really helps when my breakfast is low points. I'm so excited about that. And so I do work from home tomorrow, so I'm not going to sh sure what I'll eat tomorrow. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair. But I think I'll film again tomorrow to show you what I mean. So that's it, friends. This was a short one. Sorry. We got a lot going on in our family right now. I was going to hop on the treadmill and chat to you then, but it's been a long night. Tough conversations. So see y'all later. Bye.